In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to talk about our top five teams that you can use in head-to-head -head mode for Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to help you take your game to the next level in Madden NFL 21. And in today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the top five teams to use in Madden 21. And I'm going to do that by uh, taking a look at the depth charts here in the main menu screen. So my number five team that you can use in Madden 21 is the... Uh, Baltimore Ravens. The reason I put them at number five is because I feel like you just can't shake the fact that Lamar Jackson has 96 speed. You have Marlon Humphrey, who's got that uh, that good coverage ability. You got Earl Thomas that has good coverage ability as well. And then at wide receiver, you have some pretty fast guys. You've got um, Marquise Brown, 97 speed. You've got Miles Borkin. You've got Devin Duvray. You've got DeAnthony Thomas. So you got some really really good speed on your field. So overall, the Ravens are a really good team. On the defensive side of the ball, you've got Calais Campbell. To me, this is a huge addition to the team. Going to help you stop the run. They've got a really good run defense stock. Their uh, edge rushers are okay. Uh, they're not the best, but they are okay. But then at the secondary level, you've got some really, really good corners. You're going to be able to play some good man-to-man -man coverage with this team. That's what I like to look for in head-to-head. -head. And then you've got some decent safeties here. Earl Thomas has that really good coverage ability to be able to lock up in zone. So, again, really, really solid team. All right, so I'm going to go to my number four team. My number four team in Madden 21 head-to-head -head, is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And the reason they're coming in at number four, a lot of people have them at number one this year. The reason I'm going to put them at number four, offensively, they are elite. They are really, really good offensively. In my opinion, they're one of the better teams offensively because they have two wide receiver abilities. These two wide receivers with Scotty Miller as their third one, and then you have Grace and Franklin. You have all this speed on your field. The one issue is, to me, Number one, they don't have 97 plus speed, so they're not going to be able to beat people over the top. Okay, that's one issue. The second issue is their defense. So their defense is good, not great. Um, up front, they got a decent front seven. You've got uh, Goldston, you've got Sue, you've got Vita Vea. Your linebackers are pretty good. You got JPP, you got Shaq Barrett uh, with a pass rush ability. You got Devin White, you got uh, Noah Dawkins, and you got Levante David. Levante David has Lurker, so make sure to use him whenever you're using this team. Uh, corners, though, this is the issue to me. You've only got two 90 plus speed corners. And in this year's game, you need speed at corner. You need speed everywhere. Speed is so critical. And so for that reason, I'm putting the Bucks at number four. Number three on my list is the New England Patriots. New England Patriots are making a resurgence this year. It's because of how defense works in Madden 21. Cam Newton, nothing special here. Nothing special here. Um, he got a little bit of mobility. He can make the throws. He's not anything special at quarterback, in my opinion. Running back wise, they're okay. They got Lamar Mill. They got they got a stable, um, but they're not anything special. Wide receiver, they got Julian Edelman. Julian Edelman is have is pretty good at getting open against man-to-man -man coverage. But you've also got Demir Bird with 94 speed, and you've got Jeff Thomas with 91 speed. And then their tight end right here, you've got um, these couple of nice tight ends with 80 plus speed. But again, to me, their tight end is a little bit weak, and for me, I run spread sets. So. I'm not a big fan of the Patriots offense, but I am a huge fan of their defense. Take a look at what they got at defensive end. 89 acceleration, 85 Derek Reavers. They've also got Chase Winovich, 85 speed, 89 acceleration. These guys are going to get the job done for you at the defensive side of the ball. Their defense is elite. I mean, it's literally one of the better defense. I mean, it's probably the best defense in head-to-head, -head, in my opinion. Linebackers, you've got speed all over your field. Again, speed is critical this year. And you see you've got uh, Brandon King. you got Josh Uch. They also have 90 acceleration, which is really nice. So some of those blitzes that I like to run that require high acceleration, I can run them. But this is where the Patriots really make their mark on the game. Look at their corners. 92, you got 99 overall, Stephon Gilmore. Best corner in Madden by, by far. Best corner in regs. Literally, he's going to take Tyreek Hill out of the game. Anyone he covers, he's going to take him out of the game. You then got Jonathan Jones. He's going to be able to keep up with every wide receiver in the game. He's almost as good as Stephon Gilmore. Very, very effective. You then got Jason Cordy, 91 speed. JC Jackson, 90 speed. And you got Michael Jackson, senior, 90 speed. Safeties, you got Devin McCourty, another good ability right there. And then you've got Terrence Brooks as a user. So you've just got speed for days with this team. They're such a good man coverage team, uh, in my opinion. So their defense is elite, and that's why they're coming in at number three on my list. The number two team on my list in head-to-head -head is the Kansas City Chiefs. And the reason I put them at number two 
is because of their defense. So my, Patrick Mahomes is going to be able to do everything you need him to do. 99 overall. My opinion, he's probably the second best quarterback at regs, but some people would say he's the best quarterback in regs. Really, really good. Um, running back, you've got Damian Williams, 90 speed. Uh, he's going to do just fine for you. Wide receivers, this is where they really make their mark, in my opinion, uh, as to why they're the best, probably one of the best wide receiver cores um, in Madden because of how important speed is to get open against man to man. You need McCole Hardman, you need Tyreek Hill, you need Sammy Watkins. These guys are going to get the job done for you. They're going to get open just because they're that fast. And so when you run your vertical concepts, you know, people try to run cover zero on you, you're going to be able to destroy them with this team. This team is really, really effective. Um, and then at tight end, you got Travis Kelsey, who's got round apprentice this year, allows him to do a lot of unique things. Gun bunch with this team is legit, but in my opinion, Kansas City Chiefs are number two, and here's why. On defense, they've actually taken a big step backwards. As you can see here, they don't have Frank Clark anymore. Or not Frank Clark. They don't have Terrell Suggs anymore, so they just have Frank Clark, which Frank Clark's going to get the job done for you. They've got Chris Jones, so they've got some decent pressures, but they don't have Darren Lee, uh, who had that 87 speed. Their linebackers aren't as fast as they used to be. You basically have Willie Gay, and that's about it. you got Daniel. Corner-wise, they've got a couple guys here, but they're all tweeners. They don't really have an elite corner, and that's why they're coming in at number two, in my opinion. Uh, Chavarius Ward is 91 speed. Uh, Antonio Holman, 90 speed. And Alex Brown, 91. Lammons is 90. So you do have 90-plus speed, but it's not that great when you go to the safety position. As you see here, LeJerry Sneed, that's going to be your user. You've got Thornhill. Um, and you got the Honey Badger. But in my opinion, again, you're going to put the Honey Badger in zone because of his ability. And to me, against the top elite players, they are going to be able to move the ball against this defense, uh, especially if you're running man-to-man -man coverage. That's why, for me, the number one team in Madden NFL 21 is the Green Bay Packers. Here's why. Aaron Rodgers has some really, really good abilities in this game. He's got that pass lead elite ability. He's got gunslinger. Ball's going to get out of his hands fast. Aaron Jones is really an X factor this year. He's got 91 speed, 94 over, or 90 overall player with trucking agility, all that good stuff. He's got great change of direction. Tyler Irvin, another great player for this squad. Uh, I think Jones is a little bit better than Irvin, or much better than Irvin, but Irvin's kind of your stable, your backup back. Wide receivers, they're no slouch. Um, you've got 93 speed, Marcos Valdez, Scantling. You've got 90 speed, Equanimous St. Brown. And then you've got Devontae Adams, who has wide receiver apprentice, going to be able to get those extra hot routes on the outside. And he's going to be a nice number one for you. Uh, tight end position, you've got Robert Tanyan with 85 speed. Um, does a really good job for me. That's who I like to put in that position. you got David Bakatari, who's got that good pass blocking ability. Then on defense, they are no slouch, right? This is where I think they really edge out some of the elite teams. On defense, they're really, really good because, again, abilities matter, but also speed matters. So abilities and speed are what you want to look for. Dean Lowry here has got 84 acceleration, uh, 86 speed. Adams here has uh, 86 excel. Kenny Clark. Really good nose tackle, really going to do a great job for you. He's got that 82 acceleration. He's also got that inside stuff ability, so he's going to be able to stop those interior running plays. And then the backers. Uh, Zadarius Smith, great pass rusher, going to do the job for you here. Gary and uh, Galil, very fast linebackers in the back end. You've got Summers, Kirksey, all these guys here. So, again, very, very fast, very good linebackers for me. You got Preston Smith, who's a really good complement to Zedaria Smith as far as pass rush goes. Very good acceleration. This, to me, is where they go to the next level. You've got Jair Alexander, who's a poor man's Stephon Gilmore, in my opinion. Um, 93 speed. He's able to hang with pretty much everybody in the game. He's got a really good man coverage. This guy right here, Kadar Holman, there's that 93 speed as well, that Jonathan jones is type of player. Then we've got Kevin King and Josh Jackson. These guys are going to be able to run with most of those third-tier wide receivers, but this is where they really go to the next level. They're safeties. You've got 93 speed Darnell Savage, 90 speed Will Redman, and then you've also got 92 speed Adrian Amos. I like to use a Raven Green just because I like to have the most amount of speed as possible in man-to-man -man coverage. So that are those are my top five teams in Madden 25 or Madden 21. The Green Bay Packers take the top one. Who's your top team? Let me know. Again, if you guys are interested in taking your game to the next level, the best way to do that is to join my channel's Discord. A link to do that is in the description. And we're going to be streaming actually tonight with the Green Bay Packers at 10 o'clock Eastern time on my YouTube channel. So be sure to come 
come by the channel and uh, check it out because you'll get to see how good of a team they really are in head-to-head -head mode. All right, guys, we're going to get out of here and we'll see you. Check out one of these videos on the screen and be sure to jump in the Discord. We'll see you tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern time.